Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today we're for Yogi and Yogi Bear and Boo Boo, Jack and the Beanstalks from 1977. So let's get started. Jack. Why, there's handful of beans. Oh, 
off of the stranger. Oh, no, you don't, Quipjack. You're not going to unswoggle me into selling you our only cow for a few beans. What do you think I am, stupid? These are not just ordinary beans. These are magic beans. In that case, I'll take them, said Jack. I just wanted you to know that nobody but nobody puts anything over on me. I'm just too sharp for you. Okay, okay, said the stranger. You drive a hard bargain, but it's a deal. Here's your head full of beans, and I'll take the cow. All right, come on, Brownie. Well, Booboo, when Jack got home that night, his mother met him at the door. Well, Jackson, where's the money? Well, Alibi's the boy. I didn't exactly get me money, but I got something better than money. Better than money? Yes, the mother. Oh, boy, I'd better sit down and talk to this boy one of these days. But, Mommy, said Jack, look, the nice man gave me a handful of beans. Beans? Scream, Mom. That does it. Tomorrow you're going back to school. But, Mom, explained Jack. These aren't just plain ordinary beans. They're magic beans. I'll bet. Quip, Mom. So what are you going to do with a handful of beans? They won't even grow on this farm. With that, the poor angry mother grabbed a handful of beans and threw them out the window. Poor Jack. That night, he went to bed hungry as usual. <laughs> but next morning, when Jack woke up, he looked out the window, and what do you think he saw? The cow. No, Boo-Boo. Jack saw a giant. A giant. Let me finish, Boo-Boo. He saw a giant beanstalk. You mean the beans really were magic, Yogi? Right, Boo. The giant beanstalk was so tall, Jack couldn't even see to the top of it. So Jack, being nosy, started to climb the big beanstalk to see how tall it was. Up. Up and up he went, but still he didn't reach the top. Well, after about an hour of climbing, Jack reached the top. And what do you think he saw up there? The cow. No, no, Boo-Boo. Jack saw a fantastic island in the sky, a strange, mysterious land. And he started walking along the road till he saw a huge castle. Then Jack started toward the castle. But right in front of the castle, Jack met a beautiful fairy princess. Where are you going, Matt? Said the fairy princess. I'm going up to that big castle to see who lives there, answered Jack. I wouldn't if I were you, said the fairy princess. You see, that's the castle of the one-eyed giant. One-eyed giant, gasped Jack. So what about the one-eyed giant, Yogi? Well, the fairy princess told Jack that after the brave knight and his family were gone, a huge one-eyed giant moved into the castle. And that isn't all. The giant took over the brave knight's most valuable possessions. His gold, his singing harp, and his magic hand. Be careful, said the fairy. That one-eyed giant is dangerous. But Jack didn't hear the warning. He had decided to go find the magic hand and magic harp and return them to their rightful owner. Walking up to the big castle gate, Jack rang the bell. But when nobody answered, Jack sneaked under the bottom of the huge castle door. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Oh, thought Jack, it's him. It's the one-eyed giant. I'd better cut out. But suddenly, Jack hid in the closet. And who do you think came walking into the room? The cow. No, Boo-Boo. No one-eyed type giant. Peeking out, Jack saw a very strange sight. He watched as the one-eyed giant brought a little white hen to the table. Little hen so brave and bold, weigh the one-eyed giant some gold. And then, right in front of Jack's eyes, <laughs> the little hen laid a golden egg, then another, and another. Jack couldn't believe his eyes, but the little hen was laying golden eggs. And they're the best kind. So while Jack peeked out, he saw the giant quit counting his gold and pick up the magic musical harp. Spoke the giant. Oh, musical harp. Oh, harp so pretty. Play me a top 40. Diddy. And suddenly, 
You see, Jack still had the magic arm. So he got himself an agent, and soon he had his own television show. TV show? Sure. It was called Jack and his Swinging Magic Heart. <laughs> So that was Yogi Bear and Boo Boo, Jack and the Beanstalk for 1977. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.